Hello YouTube. Back up again. It's an absolute scorch other day. I'm just in the shade at the minute. It's nice and cool in here. But uh not sure how hot it is the daylight, but it's very hot. Um so I just gonna see if I can get some maybe come across some rabbit sunbathing or something like that. Uh, hopefully take one out for the bag. And um also pigeons and just a little mooch about in nature. So it is back when we see something. It's clear water that way. Having a shoeless mooch. Get a bit of grounding in as well, get connected to the earth. Also, let me top off, get a good tan going. Get some vitamin D. <laughs> it's all good for you. Get yourself out there. Uh, aye, the grounding's good for you as well. It's We all wear rubber soles and that now, so we're never ever connected to the earth anymore which has actually got an energetic pull, a negative charge to it and it helps pull out all information and stuff like that in our body, it keeps you grounded just like a, an earthing cable uh, for electrical fires that's basically what inflammation is in your body, it's like an electrical fire, everything's flaring up and that's what grounding does, it keeps you grounded stops you from uh, stops all you know all inflammation and in that burning up in your body. It's something we don't do anymore. It's something that we really should be getting back to. I think like so. Anyway, that's that's my bit on grounding. Um, I get his back when I see something. Anyway, I'm not seen out yet. Like maybe too hot for them today. <laughs> too hot for me and all that. Shoes back on. <laughs> kind of be walking on this gravel with these shoes like nice on the grass but not on the gravel. Um so hopefully we'll see some mix soon.
Gemma just missed his head there, just over the top. That would have been a cracking shot, that. And there was a pigeon up in the tree behind us. Didn't know that was there. Too much cover to see them, really, like. dead. He's dead. Maybe I'm straight past it so... That's quite an unusual look. I even got my shot back. Meg, get away. Right there, at the top of the yard, there. Only a young one, but literally there's not many about at all. They're all under cover. It's too hot for them to do, so... But I'll make a meal out of that. Um, this is now total blank. Right, I'm going to get him bagged up. Hey YouTube, I was standing back here and I took a woody out of this tree, it wasn't on record, which is really annoying. Um, but I got him with the next shot. There he is, I'm going to, um, since I've never shown how I do one of these, I think I'm going to show one in this video. And then I've just thought I might just do a catch and cook. Um, maybe he's make like a little... Uh, pigeon kebab over a campfire or something like that with this, I think. Anyway, right, I'll get you back when I'm sorting it out. YouTube, that's the best camera angle I could get, so <laughs> we'll work with it. Right, so I've got me the pigeon here. Just gonna do it on that stump. Sharp knife. Right. Pluck some of the feathers out the breast first. See better, see where you're cutting, right? Expose the breast like that, right? Then you go down this bone here. Straight down to the bottom. And follow it around the wishbone. Very good this angle is it? And there you go. You got the main fillet and you got the mini fillet there. So what you do is Put it in the bag, keep it nice and clean. Then we'll do the other side.
go as you want. Put it in the bag. And what I do is I just take the legs off. Feathers off that. Let's peel the skin off actually. And the bag as well. Another leg. I need the skin on this one. Clean the feathers off. Oh, drop it in the muck. Wasn't good. Clean that when I get home. And then this, some people, what some people do is they just discolate the, um, disc, they snap the wings there, and then they just rip the breastplate up like that, and then they just take the breastplate. But I prefer to do it this way. And so when you pull this open up. You expose the heart, I'll take that, put it in the bag, the livers, we'll just take them as well. And the gizzard. This is the gizzard, I'll show you what's in it now. Cut that. As you can see there, look, it's full of little bits of grit. That's hard bits of grit that they, they pick up off the ground and they swallow it and it goes into this and it digests the food for them. And that's all whatever it's been eaten, all the mushed up seeds and leaves and things. You do that, you take that out, right? And then what you do is there's this it's very messy with these feathers, like you just slice underneath that leathery bit, and then you should be able to peel it, and then it just peels out that leathery bit there. So you're left with a nice clean gizzard. I'll give it all a clean when I get home anyway, so. And there you have it, one pigeon in the bag. Hey. Hey YouTube. Little man back from school now. Just there. Uh, gonna go down the little the little river down here. He he, can, he likes to plodge in it and that so. And I'll light a little fire and cook up the pigeon and the hind legs of the rabbit as well. Um, I've had them marinating with some goose fat um, in. So I put goose fat in, it was all melted. 
uh, in a bag and I put some um, all-purpose seasoning in and a little bit of salt and pepper in like half a tablespoon of honey as well just to give it just a little little hint of sweetness um, and so I'm just gonna make a little skewer skewer it and just kind of barbecue it as well um, I've got a got a steak as well just to give make it a bit more substantial <laughs> uh, right, but we'll get it on anyway right that's us down now Charlie's already in the water as you can see Nice little stream. I like it down here. It's nice and quiet for Charlie's. Anyone else comes down here. So we've got the place to ourselves. Um, I'm going to set up a little fire there. Um, wait until it dies down a bit and just use that as a barbecue. I've just recovered my, my grill that I always keep stashed down here for whenever I need it. For days like today. Uh, so I'll get you back once I've so when I, when I, once I've got the fire started and that, I'll get you back. Oh, there's a good natural um, wood catch it all. The river catches it all there and it just stays bone dry all the time. Perfect for accessible wood straight away, you know. <laughs> easy to start a fire on the plate. So I'm just sharpening the stick on my skewer. Right. What should I do about that, I think? Right, so that's all my stuff in there marinating. Goose fat, it's all melted obviously, it's a hot day. Um, and a wood pigeon in there and two rabbit legs as well, hind legs off that small rabbit I got today so uh, I'm just gonna, I've never tried this before but I'm gonna give it a go um, I'm hoping in the goose fat will you know, stop it from drying it out so what I'll do when it's cooking as well I'll just pour some over it as well just to keep it you know, from going too dry I think it should be nice and I've also got some sea salt for my steak, I've got some pepper as well, just give it a little bit extra, uh, and that's it, that'll be my dinner. Nice little sort of wedge of uh, pigeon there, cutting quite chunky. Oh, they're well coated them. Um. Alright, so it's just general purpose seasoning I used.
know, if you want to do this, so you could really make it a lot better than this. You could add uh, like peppers and all that to it, and uh, cook it up and have it on a load of salad and stuff like that. But I haven't got any of that stuff. Legs on there. Should have maybe put one on each end, but never mind. You having fun, Charlie? Just the gizzard next. I'll put the gizzard on last because that's pretty tough. Should keep everything lodged on that way. There we go. Pigeon, two rabbit legs, and a gizzard. It smells amazing already. <laughs> Right, so what I've done is I've just uh, dragged some of the embers out and left that burn at the back end. And so there's hot embers under here. So I'm just going to get it on now. Stick it on first. A little bit of sea salt. Pigeon on there next. So we trout down there. We baby one. <laughs> you having fun, Charlie? Charlie, you having a good time? Yeah? <laughs> Being an ignoranus. Look, these look nice like them though. Oh, turn it. oh, look at that. That looks nice. It's getting a bit too crispy on that side though. Flip the steak as well if I can't. Ooh. Oh yes, that looks tasty. Add a little bit of this fat to it. Get some on a steak as well. I believe the steak's done now. Um, I'm going to take the steak off first, leave that on for an, leave the pigeon and rabbit on for another minute or so. Then we'll take it off. Right, I'm going to get the steak sliced up first. Right. Looks quite tasty, like. Should be done. So I've just chopped the army steak up there. Oh, that's done. Done nicely as well. Oh, it's lovely. That's perfect, that. And you know what? It really has not dried out. I reckon if I hadn't used the goose fat, right, it would have just went really dry because there's no, there's no fat in pigeon or rabbit really. Mm. 
I'm actually surprised at how good that is, actually. That's really nice. So I'll just go over and I think I can just, just taste that little bit of honey that I put in. It's just give it that little bit of sweetness. You can taste it. Try a bit of rabbit. Oh, it's cooked all the way through. Well, it being a young rabbit as well, it's less tough. But it's not, it's not tough, it's not chewy, it's just like eating a bit of chicken, you know, a chicken wing or something. Hey. Usually, I don't like to eat my rabbits and that on the same day with a rigor mortis, but that's really nice, huh? Come on, come on, come on, come on. Meg will eat the bone. Charlie's over at Harry's dinner. <laughs> and he wouldn't. He wouldn't eat this, he doesn't like the texture of like meat. I've got to uh, chop it up really finely for him. Really nice. That has been a good day. Yeah. Uh, so I'm just going to eat this and enjoy the nature. Charlie's having loads of fun over there. <laughs> really rich as well, you know. Eating things like that, like pigeon. It really fills you up and keeps you, keeps you full. I won't eat nothing else all day now. Well, this will be my last meal tonight. I had like five eggs this morning with a homemade burger. And I'm having this. But you should definitely give this a go. It really, really, really helps to keep it uh, moist and not dry out. Uh, so I, I definitely recommend it. Like, it's good. So anyway, hope you like this video. If you did, don't get, don't forget to put the thumbs up. Yeah, uh, and I'll see you on the next one. Take it easy, cheers. Climb over, good boy. Are you jumping down? Clever lad. Exploring back to the car.